Okay, in this video I'm going to discuss one of the templates found in Microsoft Excel. I'm going to load up Microsoft Excel 2007, go to the menu, New, and under Install Templates I'm going to load up the Loan Amortization Schedule and hit Enter. You can call this a calculator or a schedule. What this will do though is you type in your loan amount here, loan amount 31000 as an example, and I'm going to drag the window down so I can see the title bar your annual interest rate 8.25 loan period in years say that it's going to take five years to pay this thirty one thousand dollars number of payments per year this is going to be twelve start date of loan we'll put january first two thousand twelve and once we hit enter all of the data will populate to the right you have your loan summary which will have the scheduled payment it's going to be six hundred and thirty two dollars and twenty eight cents a month your number of payment 60, actual number of payment 60, and total interest 6,937 with 3 cents. This is the amount of interest that will be paid over the lifetime of the loan if you didn't have any kind of additional extra payments. Now towards the bottom you can scroll down you'll have the number of payments and it will go all the way down. Again we said it would be 60 payments. The last payment would be due January 1st 2017. Now with loan amortization your principal will increase over time while your interest will decline and towards the right you have your interest rate how it, the total interest that you pay and how it accumulates over time so again at the end of this loan you would have six thousand nine hundred and thirty seven with three cents um, paid now your general formula for loan amortization in order to calculate the interest we get the principal times the rate times the time the time in this case is 1 over 12 for one, one month out of the year. Now if you notice you can't click anything in any of these cells. If I click it, it doesn't show me the, the formula because this is a protected sheet and the only cells that you can click are these cells right here and the, len the lender name. A lot of sheets in order to look at the cells that are locked or unlocked you need to unprotect the sheet and a password is needed. Go ahead and go to your review tab and click unprotect sheet. Sometimes you have to unprotect the workbook but in this case all we have to do is unprotect sheet and just like that we can now click any cell that we want. Microsoft did not install any kind of password protection on this worksheet so all we have to do is simply click unprotect sheet and we have full access to the sheet. In this video I didn't allocate time to discuss what these formulas are and how it's inputting the amount to calculate your payment, principal, interest, any balance, and the cumulative interest. But simply go ahead and go through go through this template. You'll see that the formulas are the same. It's not too hard to break down because for example this column you have if values entered which would be so in this case you have if values entered if values entered is is available then we'll put the number one if for any reason we don't have values entered then we'll put a blank so in this case before we put the start date alone we erase that because that's blank this will be blank. In order to have value in there we must have all fields entered so we're gonna put January 1st 2012. Moving along to the next cell we have A18 plus 1 so it's A18 plus 1. The next one is A19 plus 1, A20 plus 1 and so on. And if you notice in all of these columns all of the formulas are the same you'll have some minor changes that pertain to that cell or the previous cell from the previous row but I mean it, it is um, pretty simple to figure out it's it's not very difficult at all because if you scroll all the way down to the last payment after payment 60 which is on row 77 you'll see that all of these blank cells still have the same exact formulas just just with a slight modification it may look overwhelming at first because you're looking at a very long formula but when you are familiar with the if statement and statement 
and other formulas that Excel offers, it is pretty simple to put one of these formulas together and create a sheet like this. But again, it's not in, this, it's not in the scope of, in, of this video to discuss these formulas, and that just takes you know one step at a time learning learning these formulas, connecting them together, and then building a sheet like this. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.